<clears throat> hello, hello, welcome to another beer review. Uh, tonight we've got a lager for you, and uh, we're going to get straight into it. Uh, this is a lager from Drygate, uh, based in Scotland, and it is a bottle of their Bare Face Lager. There is the artwork. We've got uh, a geezer with his beard that's going a bit wild, and it turns into a couple of bears. Quite catching on the eye. They started selling this in my local Sainsbury's. Uh, I thought I'd give it a go. There is the the bottle cap. Quite a simple design. Uh, yes. I've not heard of these guys before. Drygate Brewing Company. Uh, they're from Glasgow in Scotland. Um, it doesn't say. Brewed fearlessly. Glasgow. Open doors. Open minds. Whatever it takes. It's all about exceptional beer. Brew it. Drink it. Share it. Our journey of discovery begins here. Achieve the exceptional, heavy on the hops, light on the tongue, clean and crisp citrus hints lager that refreshes the body, vigorous. I'm sure that should say vigorously, but it doesn't. Uh, yeah, this stuff is coming in a 4.4% ABV. I've been looking forward to this. Saw it on the shelves in Sainsbury's. I'd never seen it before. Loved the artwork, and it just grabbed my attention straight away, so I thought I'd give it a go. So, let's... Get it out and into a glass. There's loads of smoke on the opening. Loads and loads of smoke. I have just got in from playing a bit of five side footy with the boys. I'm absolutely knackered, absolutely gasping. To be honest, a cold lager is about the best thing that you could have after a game of footy. I knew I had this in the fridge, so uh, I thought, seeing as it was a new one, I might as well do a review. A never ending bottle. Right, I'll leave that there. That'd be jubbly. Right, there is your bareface lager from Drygate. Looks like a lager. Golden colour, good levels of carbonation and loads of bubbles flying up the glass. Very thin head on it, but it has maintained a bit of a head. Uh, let's get a nose. Ooh, loads of citrus. Bit of hop. Ingredients, water, Ooh, with barley, hops, yeast. Beer may pour slightly hazy. It is slightly hazy. But then there's a bit of uh, condensation on the glass as well because this has been in the fridge. It is ice cold, which is the best way to have a lager, bar none. So, yes, dry gate, bareface lager, 4.4% ABV. Loads of citrus on the nose, bit of hoppiness on the nose. I'm going to get stuck in. Cheers. Oh, that's good quality stuff. Oh, that's lovely. That's really good. Loads of citrus. Really quite sharp on arrival. Loads of citrus, lots of lemon. So it's quite zesty. Lemon zest, like someone's scraped lemon peel in it, directly into it. Really sharp. Beautifully carbonated. It's not overly fizzy. Doesn't fizz on your tongue. It just has the right amount. Not overly gassy. You can see the quality of it. See the lacing on the glass. That's a good quality lager. Good quality ingredients have gone into this. Loads of citrus. Mm. A little bit of malt. And a slight bit of a hoppy finish to it as well. That is a very good lager. A very good lager. As far as lagers go, that's one of the best ones I've ever had, I think. Putting it right up there. Mm. I did tell you this one would go down sharpish. 
that's spot on. Loads of citrus. Lots of lemon zest. A bit, a little bit of lime. There's a tiny little bit of malt. You're getting that malted barley. And then there's a nice, very subtle, hoppy finish on the back of it. Slight, slight hoppy bitterness on the back. But nothing, nothing to write home about. That's a perfect lager. Roll on the summer. Roll on the summer. When the, when the weather warms up a little bit, I could do a few of them. 4.4% ABV. It is definitely a sessionable lager. And it's a hell of a lot better than a lot of the mass-produced ones, which have more alcohol in them. I can't think what's the point. Um, that's wonderful. That is really good. Um, it does everything you would want a lager to do. And it's made with really, really good ingredients. Um, it's not complex, but it's, it's a lager. So you're not going to expect it to be complex. But uh, lots of citrus. A little bit of malt. Nice little bit of hoppiness on the back end. Superb. Really, really refreshing. It's really refreshing. It's absolutely hitting the spot. Just what the doctor ordered. Ice cold lager. After 40 minutes of carrying my big self around a football pitch. It's exactly what I needed. Um, right now it's perfect. Um, I'll give it a score. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Really good lager. Drygate lager. I'll pick this one up in my local Sainsbury's. Um, so, yeah, I'm assuming that most Sainsbury's will stock it. Get out and have a go. If you like your lagers, have a go on this because it's a hell of a lot better than the stuff that I, you, I'd imagine you're drinking. So, yeah, have a go. Drygate, bare-faced lager, 4.4% ABV. It's a 9 out of 10 for me. Um, it's the first beer review I've done in about a week or so, but um, I'm going to be back on it. Okay, I've got a few beers knocking around that I'm ready to review. Um, hope you've enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments. Let me know what you're drinking. And I'll uh, see you on the next one. Cheers, guys. See ya.